early access channel. I pulled it, I pulled it, I pulled it. Oh no, man, I think he's fucked. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no God! No God! Please no! 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 So yeah, different start to the video, but that was you know quite the experience. Put it that way. Before I get into how that actually happened and what went down, I'm just kind of gonna get into what I said I was gonna do week two, following a full guild gameplay experience from our perspective and kind of what we did. Obviously, I'll jump into the the craziness that went on with Soldier. It's quite funny. Yeah, some people are taking it a bit too personal, but it's just a game, so you know it's just a bit of banter, guys, a bit of fun. Let me tell you about these guys, right? Blue Dawn. They are allied with a clan called Nephilim. They play on the other side of the server and they are killing random solos all the time as an 8 man group. Let me tell you something. These guys only act innocent now that they are low level against us. But when they meet other people that are low level, I have seen the discord of all the people crying that these guys are killing them. They don't let them go to farm. They don't do this. These guys are the bad guys. <laughs> My balls in your face. <laughs> just do it, just do it, the Austria. <laughs> My balls in your face. Yeah. It's like fucking Azri. Azriel just fucking cursed us now, he's paying the mobs to fucking shit on us, GG. We just need to make sure uh, Teostra have enough uh, rage before he go in. He's not level 6, he's taking the piece. Yeah. Nephilim, from what I've seen, they're like... Uh, no. Level 18 no, 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 no. or something? I had Nephilim were beast. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nephilim are... Very, very bad. Like, not even... Probably, probably one group of Nova Order could beat them. They are constantly yeah. shit talking Nephilim again. I'm not shit talking them, man. They... Can someone clip and post it on your this? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 See there, they definitely are, are not happy with us. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why or why they just don't seem to like us. It probably does come from maybe a potential connection to Night Song. I noticed from that snippet here, if you look at that, that's obviously sold the ears, that's Night Song in the Discord. I don't know what the connection is there, but it seems like anyone this guy's connected to. It's fairly bad. Now, the guy is pretty toxic. He tried to poach our members. The member that you see on the other clip art that I can show now, that may, that's one who was obviously trying to poach one of our officers at the time. They're all silver off. We go back and we have a long standing beef. So when they say we're killing low levels, well actually they were not that low and it was also one guild I was versed them and three of their allied guilds. So you can see that in episode one, there's nothing to hide, you see exactly what's there. Like the footage is there, so you don't have to take my word, just go watch the episode and you'll, you'll see how we roll with it. So yeah, obviously when you try and inside, when you try and poach, when you call drama when you make a reddit post about us crying yeah we're gonna kill you and, and just like as I said previously pirate software's video if you look at what he said I agree with that if you have their tag that's on you man we're gonna kill you if you want to be connected to a guild like that we will just smash you so that's like kind of what happened there there's so much more and it goes back a long time these guys have got a really bad rep they've disbanded like three times had three different guilds I mean loads of the members are on blacklist and the one particular member saying he's not in many discords he's literally in every single guild discord and he's been in members of multiple guilds at the same time so yeah we, we definitely don't like them and we'll obviously PvP them but we don't do like this stuff and get involved so that's that's kind of what they're referring to. I'm not sure why they've sided with them because these guys, they're kind of side and stick well, fairly toxic. But on another thing, if you actually look at the streams, it was them in Jova killing people and attacking. It was them, like, do you know what I mean? Grief and pulling shit, which, like, I don't care, but it's just mental that they're doing this and then blaming us. But it honestly isn't that big of a deal. Like, after this, we won't talk about it again and we'll move on. But obviously, because our name's everywhere and, the, you know, people are saying that with this Russian PK 
volunteer guild. Like, we don't even have any fucking Russians, man. Like, nothing wrong with having Russians in Ukraine, but we just don't have them. So it's just absolute bullshit, man. And that's obviously why I was trolling in chat saying, you know, I'm level 8 and all this bollocks. Just And to address the PvP with us, we're terrible. We need... We've never PvP'd them. Like, there was one time where we were trying to do the mayor chat with Rito, and we were kind of working on kind of getting some started. So I told my guys, don't hit them. Same with, like, Blue John and a few of us, like, just don't attack them. Because if we're going to work on nodes together, we might as well keep it chill for a bit. Now, my guys were in the same area. There was another guild that thought was going to hit them, and to the right was Soldius. So they'd started walking back. These guys were much higher level at the time. They had better gear, uh, and my guys were kind of later coming in, some of them, and, and not as leveled. So they've tried to walk away, and they've left it thinking off much of it. And then Soldius has came behind them, obviously outnumbered them, and just slapped them. Like, it's just no skill there. You've got, like, five, six more levels, better gear, and you outnumber them, then you're going to win. That is the only PvP interaction we've had. And it wasn't even PvP. It was like, it's literally what we've done a hundred different times, but we just don't talk about it, because obviously we're not going to brag about something like that, fighting people. When there's no real skill, we understand it was just because we had the level advantage at the time. Um, whereas these are like really elaborating on it and making it like a grand thing. Which, if you look at it logically, it's just not, man. It's, it's not not to brag about. And obviously the Reddit posts or the other stuff that refer to... When you join our Discord, like I've said, you have to click to get the roles. You then have to fill out an application in Welcome, you're fully locked out, then that gets rejected or accepted by us. Now at that point you've got to do your introduction and give us a brief overview so the rest of the community knows you. And if you don't do that, already I'm going to reject you. Because it's just like, if you can't be bothered doing that, you're just not the quality that we want. Now I understand this isn't what every guild's doing, but it's just how we, we quality control, man. There's nothing wrong with you. Now I understand more casual guilds or Zerg recruiting don't get this, but it's just how we do it. Now once you get through that, you're not in our guild. What happens then is you have to have a mandatory VC with one of me or someone who's available who's in leadership we'll go and have a VC after that we'll tell you we'll get back to you and we'll decide now if you really are good in that interview I'll probably just tell you you're in or someone will tell you you're in there and then but 9 times out of 10 you'll have to wait now if you start asking me multiple questions about VC is it mandatory I want to be on VC and with other guilds on your server or oh, I've got a girlfriend and I want to play with her and then I say well bring them in we can sort oh no I don't want to bring them in I want to communicate elsewhere or if you then join the guild and you're on trial and you start private messaging people which is exactly what happened and you start talking crap you start insulting members you try and shit stir you just kicked. Like, we legit do not do that. I don't tolerate that. If anyone ever private messages me to shit there, like, I don't do that. So, that's that covered. Not that we should have to, but there's been so much bollocks spread around. And obviously, these guys have played a big part in kind of shit stirred and on shawl and, and manipulating. It's actually pretty smart on their part. Um, I think uh, Constantine, is it, who's running the stream, he's, he's really good at propaganda. He's really good at sarcastically swearing stuff. And sometimes it's a bit of banter, but I think it's because it's quite an intelligent insult and, and got comedic value. It goes over some people's heads, whereas I'm like, you little fucking cunt. But yeah, it's credit to him. It's funny shit. But uh, I won't go on much more about it. I'll get right into the video, but obviously we're going to address that because it's been all over the discords. But yeah, we're absolutely smashing it. We're loving it. We can't wait to get in tonight and this weekend. But uh, yeah, without rambling on anymore, that's that covered. Any questions, find them down below. I'm going to kind of get into what our goals were. So obviously going into the second weekend, the plan wasn't to get griefed and uh, fail the firebrand because we were planning on doing the firebrand. It wasn't to get slapped by that and an invisible one at that which was retarded as you'll see from our perspective but it was fairly funny the aim was to get in and get to 20 like really really rapid on that day grind it out and you know we had planned to just farm still bloom if i'm honest so we're kind of farming the crapper spots which was really not efficient that was the only setback we had in the first weekend now we were going to do that pretty sharpish but obviously soldiers had got to access to that i would say they were probably one of the more efficient guilds that kind of decided to go there now the only issue is we were slightly under level from them like I was fairly confident in my guys' communications and skill level, like, it wasn't a problem. But as you'll find in Ashes, like, you can think you're the best guy in the world, but if you're level 17 and some guy's, like, 23 or some shit like that, like, you're gonna get slapped, man. You can try your hardest, but unless they're absolutely incompetent, you probably won't win. Now, we'd known when we first got on Soldiers, it straight away went over to get Steel Bloom. So, instead, we actually farmed Darago Estates and Oakbane. As you can see in the clip playing Ruins of Sephilian, it's a really good place to find level 8 freestyle mobs 
Now, was it as efficient as Steel Bloom? No, it wasn't, and that's why later on we went there. We had fun talking to a Jew who turned up while we were farming Darago Estate without killing them, even though that's what's kind of been going around on the server, that we randomly, like, just PK people and we're a hardcore Russian PK guild. And then after we kind of trolled them, just had a bit of banter, because these are the funny interactions that happen in the world. Yeah, these guys probably didn't know what the fuck was going on. They probably thought we were about to smash them, but we just kind of had a banter. And we're not into roleplay, but it was pretty funny. And the other guys just kind of winged it, so we... we left them alone, let them farm and just, you know, let them crack on because no point in killing them, they were just trying to play the game. This weekend, the Muriel mount was fixed, so I actually could use the Drake of the canopy and it was really rapid. Now, they had said they'd nerfed it, but honest man, the health, the speed, these things are so useful and it helped me explore the map for the guild. If we're going to go farm locations, rather than go all the way to the locations and, and take ages to get there, I'd quickly go over and scout different locations, different areas, and then also I was keeping tags on where guilds were going, track and monitor them, all this political information and just general intelligence we were gathering up. So during the breaks where we were mana breaking or AFK for 10 minutes, I'd jump on the Meorial Mount, the flying mount as you can see, and I'd go around scouting. Honestly, it really made me feel like this game is so good at the state it's in now. The map is so big for what you're getting as well. The, the game when it launches with two sides, you're really going to have a lot of exploration, a lot of fun doing. So most of day one was just grinding out the levels fast and when we were going Orc Bane, we were farming gear, we wanted everyone with helmet slots who didn't have them. We were farming gloves, belts and everything. It's all about farming levels and while you're farming the levels, you might as well be farming some gear if it's not in Steel Bloom. Now even when you're farming Steel Bloom, Big Brother, Little Brother, they do drop stuff and if you pull the other guys in, you can get the level 20 belts and a few other things. They're pretty decent. So early game leveling while getting gear is decent because then what you do is you just get a loot master in your group. Personally, this is what we do. Someone takes control of the situation, streams the screen and then we put it in and we do a vote, a roll, and then obviously if you have DKP points and someone's got like, I don't know, three guys want it, but the rolls are kind of off, they could kind of chuck in them DKP points down the line uh, and they could maybe get that gear. So we try and do it as fair as possible, but at the same time, we do try and gear up our tanks, make sure our heals are sorted, because if our tanks are shit, then we can't farm the mobs and you really need to farm the mobs and if the healers get slapped, we all know in PvP the first thing you're going to go for is the healers, as you'll see in one of the clips I can pop in here, they literally were targeting and a reshare that were targeting Kingdom. It was a smart choice, like it, it wasn't stupid, like some people think Soldiers were being a bit griefy doing this, but like that's just a logical thing. Kill the fucking healers and then hit the guys, like it makes total sense. You want to get the healers out the way. So yeah, um, you, you really do want to make sure you guys are as, as kitted as they can. And then obviously me as a fighter, I took some hits. I actually needed some heavy gear because the fights are really squishy and also I do find there's quite a lot of mana issues that I just don't feel like there's enough mana. But I took got shafted. So personally for me, if you're coming in and you're doing what we're doing, make sure you get your tanks kitted up, make sure you get your healers, I'm not saying overly kit your fucking tank up to the gills and everyone gets hit with, to the detriment of that, but it's finding the balance and fairness and also, you know, it's working really well for us right now. So after we'd had that day where we'd kind of grinding prepared, we kind of knew Soldiers were gonna do something, we kind of felt it was coming our way and a lot of talks about them griefing and whatnot, how true that is, I don't know, I don't really care, it's PvP at the end of the day, I expect people to come and gang in towns, I expect people causing trouble, shit's there and lying, all this stuff, and it's why we have certain alliances and certain people connected on other servers, and it's why it's a long process for us. So, the next day, we decided we'd go out and farm Orkbane Keep, as it's got some really good gear drops, as I said. If you farm the Hydrobub, the Alpha Wolf, and the War Chief, and you kind of rotate that, and you have certain times, and you work the timers, and you just keep cycling that, you can get XP, you can get the gear, and you just have a crack in your party, and just zone out, but try and be careful if you're low level, and you're not geared, if you pull too many of the wolves, you will wipe, just make sure you're taking mana breaks as well. Now, after this, we were finally able to get into Steel Bloom, and start farming the bears, that you see everyone farming on the streams, and the videos to get to level 20, and we farmed there for hours, till we got to around level 7, Personally, if you can get to Steel Bloom and you can kind of tank, uh, aggro all the bears and you can cycle out what we're doing, it is by far the most efficient thing to do. Just zone out and grind it out. So after we'd grinded, got the levels, then we hit up Steel Bloom and we were really cracking on. We thought, do you know what? We have Alliance now built. Now, obviously, we haven't really talked about it much, but we've been working with some other guilds. And our plan was, do you know what? Let's go at Firebrand. Let's go at Firebrand and let's do it with another guild on our server called Blue. 
blue dawn so we got a raid to give it a 40 people up with a few people around that couldn't fit in the raid and we got ready to start we had kind of prepared it we knew the firebrand was kind of on its ass it was invisible sometimes two would spawn it, there wasn't much we could do we waited it out but it still wasn't fixed this weekend which honestly intrepid kind of need to fix however there was another guild that decided they'd kind of clicked on that oh what's going on here why is there all these people here we were a bit worried this was going to happen so we kept it on the down low they knew exactly what we were going to do and they decided they were going to come and fuck with us grieve troll a bit and um I was trying to get the guys not to over, not to start beef with them, leave them being up, they'd be, hopefully, you know, they'd piss off, but they didn't, and as you can see in the footage which I'll show now, as it's playing out, we had to kill them loads of times, we were watching the stream at the same time, which was actually quite funny, to be fair, a lot of people were getting angry, but I was in stitches at it, um, and we decided we'd just kill them, but unfortunately for them, what they didn't realise is, or maybe they forgot, their home spawn was here, so they had to keep spawning here, so after starting beef with us, and griefing and being annoying, we just kept spawn camping them so we thought if you're gonna grief us we're gonna grief you and all in all honestly i think them guys got some good content we had a laugh i mean we probably wouldn't have been able to do firebrand anyways because it was just on its ass and it didn't work but yeah personally i don't think it was that bad as you'll see in the clips firebrand was very broken our server it was teleporting about pinging going invisible at this point when we were fighting them we had three firebrands in one area and unfortunately the server go down brought that to an end of the fun and when it did come back up we went back to farming bears but the way we see it is we went in we absolute smash week one we weekend one i should say we got the guild up first we got a node i believe first by the looks of it got our guys all in comms were bang on second week smashed a level in really enjoyed our time done some really good content got obviously people like menace that's furries and stuff uh, we've got good player obviously i'll pop on the screen this is one of our more hardcore pvp players now obviously that's a picture of him dead on the start and zone to a goblin so that can show you how much of an elite player good player is but yeah he was one of the pvps against soldiers luckily none of them came into contact with him or we'd have probably been shamed some more but overall we have a really solid guild and yeah we're, we're really motivated we're, we're gonna crack on um and we, we're gonna get stuff done but my message to you guys watching this is i'm trying to give an honest overview of everything I, i'm not in here to bullshit uh, I, you know it's a genuine gameplay experience i want to show ashes for what it is so when you guys come in, no user are going to have to grind mobs, no user are going to have to be in a guild, no user are going to have to communicate, and, and then obviously you're going to see much more of the content coming to fruition like over the next weeks, four to eight, or three to eight for definite, um, and we're really going to dabble in the PvE side, but if you're coming in the game and you're thinking you're not going to get PK'd, and, and PvP and people's evil, and these horrible guilds for dare and the PvP you and kill you, it's a PvX game, incentivized PvP, if you don't get that, you need to find a PvE game. This ain't the game for you. I'm not trying to be a knob, but there's too many people crying, giving really bad feedback, and wasting Intrepid's time, and wasting your own time, because Steven will not change this game. It is what it is. I'm not saying go griefing in towns like they were doing. I'm not sticking up for them and out like that, but it is just what it is. Expect this, man, and, and just get amongst it, and rather than bitch and whine and cry, find a guild that's casual. Um, I, I think these, this is, unfortunately, some of the calibre of players, and then, obviously, we've got players like ourselves, Saldius, and God knows the American guilds that are crazy like the Freedom and that, that really smash it. You know, this is the type of game you're playing. We have made a server map here that you can see. Now that obviously states that we are allied to Blue Dawn. We've not tried to hide this. We are allied to them. Now we weren't originally, but we are working on some of They're on our server. We, we're kind of trying to progress together. And I also am coordinating with other guilds on the server. So we can get all the stations working and we can really crack on and start testing the PvE stuff over the next four to eight weeks to really prep for phase two. Now there is some PvX kind of more swaying PvE guilds that we have actually got non-aggression packs which is a nap now we're not allied could be now they might quit who knows but we're not going to attack them because it benefits us and them to have some peace now if they're beefing with us this law cause drama to try and poach then we'll just torture them that's just how it is if you're respectful and you're decent i think you'll get that karma in a game like this is such a real thing but when you're manipulative or when you do reddit posts or when you stream snipe or when you attack people just like Pirate Software when he was getting shit or any of these other small content creators like myself, we will come for you. 
just like Sol the Useless Slap Fork, and I'm only using them just because they're on our server, so I'm not going to talk about others because this is just, you know, what we're a part of. I'm kind of keeping it server specific. Silver Oath, now, these guys had poached our guys, they'd cause trouble in our Discord, constantly making all accounts and just writing stuff on YouTubes or Reddit, just really, really immature stuff, so we just put them in KOS. Now, if you're on our KOS, every single time we see you, we will kill you. If you have low level guys and they've got your tag, we will kill them if they're high. It doesn't matter. If they have your tag and you've been doing insiding, poaching, causing drama, shit stirring, making screenshots and reddit posts, we're gonna kill you. And your allies, if you choose to ally with these guys, we're gonna kill you too. It's that simple. So the best thing you can do is find good alliances, more decent other guilds that you can communicate with, really try and get the structure and the balance of your server. I'm not saying get too deep in the politics, but navigate that. Start getting the nodes working together. Start getting the guilds working together. But even if you can get two or three guilds working together that have the nodes, once we start doing that, we can really progress, organise some PvP events, PvE events, and actually have a really good experience. So that's our next plan. That is what we aim to do as, uh, as the guild Nephilim. And I will say, if you are looking for a solid close knit, head over to the forums, look at what our members say, join the Discord, put your application. I can't promise I will accept you to the guild or our guys' officers will, but I can give you a fair chance and if you read the overview and the rules and you fit them and you feel you do, yeah, you'll probably be sound. We obviously do take into consideration real life families and stuff. But at the same time, if you come in and you're not active and you want to play seven different accounts and you don't want to gear and you want to be in part of you there and everywhere, no man, what do you say? It's just not the guild for you. As I said, it's not for everyone, just like Steven says, this game isn't for everyone. But I'm really happy with the members we've got. I'm really happy with the quality of the members, the communication. Obviously, we're going to get some bad eggs, but I can promise you, you know, if we ever have guys that's been toxic, racist, or just been scumbags, poaching, they're gone. They're finished. We don't tolerate that shit here. They, they will just go. We have a free warning policy, but if you're inside and all you know, streaming stuff without asking or, you know, bullying, belittling, shit like that. We're just not about that. There's, you know, there's obviously heated debates, but we don't scream at each other or any of that weird shit that other guilds do. And when our guys fall behind, we try and help them. We level our guys. We take the hit sometimes to progress over other guys. We keep out of armor. We share it out. So, yeah, I think we're solid. I'm happy with the direction we're going as a guild. I'm really happy with Ashes of Creation and Alpha 2. Um, I think Steven and Intrepid are going good at the patches. There's a lot more work, but come the end of the eight week, when we go into phase two, I think we're going to be solid. So my personal opinion, if you aren't in, get them keys bought if they're going to stop them, because it is well worth it. I don't believe Alpha 2 will last one year. I believe it's going to last at least two to two and a half year. But without rambling on anymore, I'll kind of stop that there and just say, Give the video a share in your communities, drop a like, hit me up with some comments in the comment section. If you've had a bad experience with us or another guild or a good experience, let me know down below. If there's anything you want to ask, you're a bit confused about, yeah, just, just ask man. Like, I'm an open book, I'm, I'm brutally honest. Like, I've, I don't do any of this weird ass shit where you pretend to be something you're not. What you see with me is what you get, and if I'm honest, 95% of my members are the same and that's why we handpick them and we want these type of guys to have that environment, you know, and we want more players. Um, if you think I haven't covered certain bugs or there's better farming or better gearing, let me know in the comment section. I would highly appreciate that. That'd be really cool because obviously we're here to learn. We're not perfect. We're going to miss a lot of stuff. So we're just about becoming better and really helping. And obviously what we'll do is we'll be handing forum posts in with bugs to Intrepid and videos and everything. But as always, always, I really do appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.